If a man is out in the middle of the forest and there's no woman around to hear him speak, is he still wrong? I'm Robert. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me here in my home studio today. It's been a couple of weeks now since he's arrived in the mail, but, and I've uh, I've actually shown these to you guys a couple of times on my live streams, uh, which, by the way, take place on Saturdays here uh, at one o'clock Eastern time, uh, ish, heavy on the ish. Anyway, these uh, these showed up in the mail, and uh, I was uh, you know Vinny contacted me uh, through referral from uh, Brian Johnston of Cool Guitar Gear Demos. Uh, and I'll make sure and link Brian's channel down in the description so you can go check him out. He's got some great demos. Uh, but anyway, you know, he sent me these pics and uh, said, you know, I want to send you some pics for shredding. So uh, I said, okay. So, <laughs> you know, they look like, uh, I'm not sure what material they are, kind of a hard plastic, something rather, not nylon, but, uh, you know, like a hard, uh, hard plastic material of some kind. And I thought that I would go through and test them all out here with you. I am using my uh brand new you know and I, i'm I'll, I'll use this one now because by the time you guys have seen this video the demo for this guitar will have already gone up but uh this is my new chapman uh, ml1 traditional v2 guitar this is the strap model that i've been looking for forever you know and the reason why i'm using this guitar is you know this video isn't really much about tone as much as it is playability and how well these these picks perform uh, so from that instance, you know, I still want to, I want to use single coils because I think it'll kind of highlight, you know, hopefully anyway, we'll highlight the different nuances of my already sloppy picking style anyway. So, so I'll tell you what, I'll play something clean with these picks. I'll play something distorted and, uh, you can kind of get an idea, uh, hopefully. And then I will tell you which ones I like the best here when we're done. And I'm just going to kind of pluck them off of this board here one by one. And, uh, this first one here is called the mummy. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a thickness listed on here. It feels pretty thick, two millimeter, maybe even three, something like that. Uh, but I already like the grip on it. So, by the way, these things also came with, uh, this business card here from Vinny at VPix. Vinny Smith is his name. He says, our VPix stick to your fingers without being sticky, smooth as glass, but built with new technology that allows your VPix to cling to your fingers that is why we can say never drop your pick again. I am a guy that has struggled with dropping his pick all my life. And uh, tell you what, before I do that, I will even start with uh, the pick that I have been using for the last year. And I really, really like this is the Dunlop Flow. Uh, this is a one millimeter, kind of an Ultex material, full size, you know, not full size, but like a standard size pick with a sharp point on it. <laughs> So this is the mummy. This is one called the Red Rocker, uh, kind of a standard, standard shape with a pointier tip. It looks like something I would actually like. Uh, a little bit thinner than the last one, probably two millimeter range, maybe one and a half, somewhere in there. This one's called the Screamer. Slightly thicker than the last one, uh, I'm guessing two millimeter range. Uh, a little bit more of a triangle shape, very, very sharp points. Thank you. 
this one's called the Dimension Junior 3.0. Obviously a 3 millimeter pick. Uh, kind of similar to the last one, but a little bit more rounded off, looks like. But uh, the main tip has still got a, a pretty sharp point on it. This one's just, this one's called a fusion, uh, or the fusion. Uh, it's got a picture of a couple F holes there on the front. Basically a standard, just a standard guitar pick shape. Uh, thickness probably in the 1.5 millimeter range, I'm guessing. <laughs> This one's called the Joker, uh, also uh, somewhat along the lines of a standard guitar pick shape, a uh, little bit rounder, a little bit fatter up towards uh, where I would hold it than the last one, maybe slightly thicker. <laughs> Here's one just uh, called simply the small P. Uh, kind of similar to the, what was that one called? Uh, the Screamer. Kind of along those lines, but smaller. Uh, maybe even about the same thickness, maybe slightly thinner. <laughs> This one's called the Pacelli. Uh, this may be the thickest one that I've grabbed so far. And shape-wise, it's kind of about the same shape, somewhere between, like, kind of like the Fusion and the Joker, somewhere between the two. Uh, not real, not overly sized, huge pick, but really thick, and with a fairly sharp point on it. <laughs> This is one just called the Medium R. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, looks size-wise about the dimension, but a little bit rounder, not quite as sharp on the points. Fairly thick, though. Not the thickest one I've grabbed, not as thick as the Pacelli right before it, but uh, this, one's, this one's got some meat to it. <laughs> This one's called the Tradition Light. Uh, fairly not thin, maybe 1.5 millimeter range, 1.14 ish, somewhere in there. A standard standard guitar pick shape with a sharper tip, not the sharpest tip in the world, but sharper. A little bit closer to what I'm what I'm used to using. <laughs> This is, a ne this is one called the Nexus 3.0. Obviously, I'm assuming a 3 millimeter pick. A perfect equilateral triangle is what this one's shaped like. This is one called the Jester. Uh, appears to be the exact same size as the Joker, but thicker. called the tradition light this one shape wise this was this is kind of like a uh a, like a thinner more tamed down version of the mummy the first one that i tried because uh, the mummy kind of the mummy had these roughed edges uh all the way around more for uh, for grip but uh one thing i noticed about that pick is that you could also hear that one scrape you know with my the way i pick anyway you could kind of hear it scrape against the strings a little bit so <laughs> 
This one's called the Nashville. Just a good old fashioned standard chick, standard guitar pick. Uh, same material as the rest of them, obviously. This one's you know fairly you know, fairly sharp point, not too round, uh, or not too sharp, and probably in the one point one four millimeter range, maybe a little more than that. <laughs> Last one of these is called the tradition. So we've uh, so far, I think we've had a tradition, a tradition light, uh, and Nashville in there, and uh, I think that's all of them that have a tradition moniker to them. Uh, so no, I'm sorry. There's two tradition lights. There's the one that looks like this. It's a lighter version of this, and then there's the one that I just played right before it, which had the uh, the roughed up edges on it. That's kind of in the ballpark of the mummy. So. This is just the standard tradition. So as I've been going, I've kind of been sorting these out into three piles. Ones that I ones that I like, ones that I, you know, kind of, you know, there's, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about and ones I don't like. Uh, so I'll start with the latter ones first. Uh, the ones that I, the ones that I didn't care for. And, there, and really there was only three of them. Uh, the Pacelli, which I think was the fattest, thickest one that I tried. Uh, let's see, the Pacelli, the small P, and uh, the medium R. And mostly because, you know, I think these are probably three of the thickest ones that, that, uh, that I tried. Uh, and, you know, I'm used to using somewhere in the 0.88 to 1 millimeter range is typically the thickness that I use for guitar picks. And so the only reason really why those went into that pile was because of the thickness. They're just a little too heavy for me. Uh, in this maybe pile, you know, the ones that... Uh, I'm really on the fence. I, 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 kind, I actually kind of liked the traditional light, uh, but they, you know, looks like they take some, looks like they take some sandpaper or something to the outside edge of it. And, you know, I like the grip on it, but, you know, I can hear that rough edge, uh, scraping the edge of the string, you know, even on the, uh, even on the wound strings. And, you know, that would take some getting used to. And I, and, you know, it, it, long term, I would be curious to see what, how that would affect my guitar tone if it does at all. Uh, the mummy, I kind of had the, the, you know, is, is kind of a thicker, a little bit more pronounced version of the tradition light that I just talked about. Basically the exact same pick, but thicker. Uh, it's also got a little bit more sanding going on there in the middle. Uh, I like the grip on this one a lot better. Uh, but again, same thing, you know, again, I could hear it scraping on, on the strings, which for me, uh, not necessarily the best fit. Okay, so the Jack, the Jester, and the Joker, I both I put both of those in this pile because I actually really like the shape and I like the tips. Uh, the between the two, I like the Joker better, just because it's a little bit thinner. The Jester is is definitely thicker, uh, making it a little bit more rigid. The one that surprised me the most was this one called the Nexus 3.0. Uh, because I don't normally like just standard triangle shaped guitar picks i really never have but this one's not one of the great big giant ones that uh you know that you might see like a lot of acoustic users acoustic players might use it's a little bit more of a standard size and uh despite the thickness like i said i, I would uh, probably prefer something a little bit thinner but i actually like the way it played and last but not least was the red rocker um the more i'm thinking about this i probably should have put this one into the yes pile uh because this one i actually really really like standard guitar pick you know sharp tip yeah i mean i'm gonna set that one aside i'm actually gonna use that one a little bit more and finally for the yes pile we have the fusion which uh you know i put that one right there along with the red rocker uh same with the nashville kind of like those those are you know a little bit more 
what I am used to using. Uh, the tradition light, also I kind of I kind of dug. Again, the big shocker for me in this pile was the Screamer, uh, which is, again, more of a triangle-type shape, but uh, I really, really like the sharp points on it. And uh, despite how thick it is, that one felt pretty good. And then last but not least, we have the Standard Tradition, which is a thicker version of the Tradition Light, uh, and maybe even probably kind of similar. The tip's a little bit different than the Red Rocker, but... And the Dimension Junior, or Dimension JR 3.0. Again, a little thick for my tastes, but I do like the shape of it. And I was surprised by that. Although, I guess eh, the shape on that one's actually kind of similar to the Dunlop Flow Picks that I'm used to using right now. That is how they work for me. That is not saying that any of these are any better than anybody else because everybody's picking nuances can change from, you know, obviously from person to person. Uh, what I will say is the material that they use for these, I can absolutely see, you know, how these stick to your fingers because it's, you know, you, you know just because of the, the nature of the material, material itself, reacting with the oil in your fingers you know it'll actually hold it in place which is something that nylon will not do uh kind of kind of reminds me like the uh, you know the gel style picks you know so, uh from a similar from a touch standpoint so thank you again once uh thank you once again v picks for being kind enough to send these out to me uh i've uh this was actually kind of an interesting experiment i enjoyed this uh and also thanks again thanks once again to cool guitar gear demos for the referral uh i'll post links to all this stuff here down in the description as well as links to all the other gear used in this video uh thank you so much for watching we'll see you soon